Hello everyone, welcome to the shop, and today I have a solder feeder for soldering. Here it is. Got my speed control, I got my pen with the push button, and then spin around, power cord out the back. And then we'll go ahead and do a demo. So you open up the side, just looks like a wire feeder for a welder. Take me take my solder here. screwed right on there and holds the solder in place keep it a little loose go ahead and stick the solder through the first first hole here button here. Turn the speed up just a little. Nope. Now we got it feed it in so we can go ahead and just slowly let it go through the tube. Sure, it comes up, goes in the pan, and comes out. Go ahead and do a little demo here of soldering. So, we got this guy here. And we got our soldering iron. And it's hot enough, so let's say we have these two wires. We want to splice them together. So we go ahead, twist, twist it together. Now we're going to go ahead and solder. Iron. I'm going to heat it up, push out some solder, That hover splice. So I can show you how this works. The inside, it's pretty simple. Like I said before, just like a MIG feeder on a welder, a MIG welder. We got this big gear here, which is attached to a motor in the back. It's a gear motor. We have this hot wheel it's on a spring system which holds the actual solder against the other wheel and this just turns and pushes the wire through and I got in the front here I got a speed control so if I do it here go a little faster and then I crank it all the way down if I want this is just on a hinge now if we open this up I can show you the insides it just has three simple screws on the cover, one here, one on the back, and then if we go to the other side, get this out of the way, 
This one right here. This cover should slide up and off. And there is the inside. So, basically, what we have here is this was an old drill motor running on 12 volts. This is a 15 volt power supply, it puts out about 2 amps. I have just a potentiometer right here for my pulse width modulation circuit, which is a back behind this heat sink. And I have a relay, which is what's controlled by the push button on here. Which makes turns the motor on and this is my I have a 555 timer pulse with modulation circuit in here it's not the best but it works and it gets the job done so this is basically it it's not a too complicated machine it's pretty easy to build and I have a full series of the time-lapse build of this I'd just like to thank everyone for watching. This is my first YouTube video. I hope you would come back and watch any of my other videos in the future. And just thank you.